Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own carrot seed tape. We've had a few days of solid rain around here, which makes it super gloomy. But instead of being down and out about the rainy days, I'm taking these days to get prepared for garden season. One of my most favorite things to grow in our garden is carrots. And carrots can be pretty difficult to thin once you've got all of the seeds in. The seeds are so very tiny, similar to spinach and radishes and onions and so it makes it kind of difficult to thin them out as you go. So one thing I really love to do is to make a carrot tape. The kids love making these on a rainy day. We make them up, we put them away, and we get them ready for planting season. So it's very simple. All you need is a packet of carrot seed, some toilet paper, a little bit of flour and water to make the paste, it. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing we need to do is mix up the paste. So I'm starting with equal parts of flour and water. I'm just going to do three tablespoons of flour and then three tablespoons of water. The goal of this is to be the glue will also disintegrate when it gets into the ground and it will allow that little seed room to grow. Just like that. Just the consistency of glue. That's what we want. So you may want to measure the space that you're going to put your carrot tape in, such as if you have a raised bed. We're gonna put ours straight in the garden, and so I'm gonna make mine as long as possible. I'm just gonna use my table as a measurement. This table is a little over seven feet long. So I'm going to use the table as my measuring guide and measure this out. I'm just gonna roll this out, laying out my table, and then I'm just going to layer up a few pieces on top. growing carrots around here simply because it's something everybody loves and can enjoy and with our food allergies that we have it's one of those things that we love being able to store over the winter and, and enjoy. So we grow a lot of carrots. We can use them in so many different dishes. This seed tape would also be really great for spinaches or onions or radishes, anything that's small and requires thinning, it's super handy to do this ahead of time, especially when you've got yourself a few rainy days. Now that we've got everything lined up, we're just going to cut this strip in half. Don't worry too much about fitting this exactly straight. This is something that's going to go on the ground. It's a super simple project that the kids can help with. So what I like to do is I mark all of these out and then when they get home from school, they are the ones that are placing the glue and the carrot seeds. So I like to get this all ready for them and then it's a great project for after school. And I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch down so that I can fold this over and that dot will be in the center of my toilet paper. Okay, so that once you've stacked both of your stacks on top of each other, we're just going to line our ruler up and mark out an inch all the way down. You can decide to eyeball it if you want. I like using a sharpie because then it will go through multiple layers at a time. giving us a hint of where we want our dots. So once we have everything marked 
And like I said, I love using Sharpie because it goes through all of the layers here. We're just gonna start with the first layer. And I'll show you how we apply the glue and then apply the carrot seeds. So I've got my paste of flour and water. I just take a simple paintbrush and I dab each one of these dots with, with a little bit of this paste. Then we just take our wee carrot seeds and apply them to all of the glue dots. I like to use a little bit of water, a toothpick, so that it can pick up the seeds and set them down. Again, this is a perfect job for kids small hands and it's okay if you get more than one carrot seed in a spot it's totally okay it happens and who knows maybe the one won't germinate so you'll have an, a backup you could also turn this into a math lesson if you wanted to how many seeds are on a roll Multiply that by the number of rolls, and that's how many carrots we'll be planting this year. Once we get all of our seeds put on our tape, then we're just going to simply fold it in half and let the glue stick to the other side. Then I like to roll it up on an empty toilet paper core, like this. Just like that. And then I like to keep these seeds all rolled up in the refrigerator until it's time to plant them out. This way they kind of go to sleep and then when we bring them out into the warm, they kind of open up and stretch. It can really help with germination this way. What are you doing there, buddy? I'm dipping some seed, this, this, um, this stick of glue, and then I'm just putting on the glue. What kind of seeds are those you got? Carrot. Do you like carrots? Mm-hmm. Wow. I love so carrots! get to it right now. How's it going, Ava? Good. Another fun thing that you can do with this seed tape and your kids is you can spell out their initials out in your garden and then the carrots will come up in their initials or maybe you, you make a heart design or some other design in your garden and the carrots or the seeds that you plant will then come up in that design.